Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the validate IP address problem. Write a function to check whether an input string is a valid IPv4 address or IPv6 address or neither. IPv4 addresses are canonically represented in dot decimal notation, which consists of four decimal numbers, each ranging from 0 to 255, separated by dots. Example of a, of IPv4 address is 172.16.254.1. Besides, leading zeros in the IPv4 is invalid. For example, the address 172.16.254.01 is invalid. Why? Because there's a leading zero here. So this is not valid. IPv6 addresses are represented as eight groups of four hexadecimal digits each group representing 16 bits. The groups are separated by colons. For example, the address 2001-0db8-8583-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-0000-
if you found a colon then you check for IPv6 because there's a possibility that it could be IPv6 okay so then I found the colon I didn't find I mean I didn't find the colon here so I check for IPv4 so IPv4 as you can see um, the separator is a dot so I'm gonna find all the parts by splitting by the dot so for string part in IP that split backslash backslash dot all right so as you can see I'm splitting by the dot so now I have all the parts as an array and then I can iterate through the array so P is gonna be first this part and then P is gonna be this part and then P is gonna be this part and finally P will be and finally P will be this part okay and notice that I have to use backslash backslash dot because um, the split method takes a regular expression and the dot has a meaning it means match any single character but if I escape it if I say backslash backslash dot that means that I want to split that I want to split by the dot so now I have all the parts then um, I want to increment the count so plus plus count because I have seen one more part so I want to keep track of how many parts I have seen and notice that an IPv4 only has four parts so as I go if I find that the count is greater than four then this is not valid because I have seen more than four parts already so I can return neither I can return false right I can return neither so or this part is empty if this part is empty then this is not valid either or I can also check if the length of this part is greater than one and um, the first character in the part is a zero and that's this case here let's say this is a part part P and you see the length is, is two which is bigger than one and the first character is a zero so this is not valid this is invalid so I can also return neither in this case also there's another case I have to handle or and let me make this a little bit smaller here or P dot length is greater than 3 if the length of the part is more than 3 then this is not valid because a part can only be um, 3 or less in if any of these cases are true if any of these conditions are true then I can return neither right away okay so now I just need to go through I need to check that every character in the part is valid so it has to be a digit every character has to be a digit so for char C in P that to char array and I have to say to char array because I need to convert to an array in order to be able to iterate through the characters so I can check if C is less than 0 or C is greater than 9 I can return neither because I see that there are some characters that are not digits so this is not valid this is not a valid IPv4 this is not a valid IPv6 so I can return neither it, if I find out that all the characters in this part are digits then I just need to make sure that I just need to make sure that the number is between 0 and 255 so I will get the value integer value gets the value of integer that parse int of the part so now I I know the value so I can check that the value if the value is less than 0 or the value is greater than 255 
then I know this is not a valid IPv4 address, so I can return neither because it is not a valid IPv6 and it is not an, a valid IPv4 address. Okay, then if I was able to f find that all the parts were valid, then I just need to make sure at the end that I found exactly four parts because an IPv4 has exactly four parts. So I say return count equals equals four. I found exactly four parts and IP dot char at IP dot length minus one is not equal to a dot. And I'm asking this question here. Um, I found exactly four parts and the last character is not a dot. If that's true, if that means that it was a valid IPv4, so I can return IPv4. Otherwise, it was not a valid IPv4, so I can return neither. So in order to be a valid IPv4, I should have found exactly four parts. So I found exactly four parts, and the, and the last character was not a dot. The last character in in this IP address was not a dot. Okay, it was a digit. So I'm done with checking if it is IPv4. Now, if I found a colon, then the possibility is that it is IPv6. So now I have to check IPv6. So for string part in IP that split, this time I'm going to split by colon. And the colon doesn't have any special meaning uh, in regular expression, so this is fine. I don't have to escape it. So now I have all the parts. I need to check every part in the IP address. So first, because I have one more part, I increment the count. So plus plus count. Then if if I have if I have seen more than eight parts, then I know this is not a valid IPv6 because a valid IPv6 has exactly eight parts. So if I have seen more than eight parts, I can return neither. Or if this part is empty, I can also return neither. Or if the length of this part is more than four, that's also not valid. So I can return neither. I'm done. I know that this is not a valid IPv4 and this is not a valid IPv6 because a valid IPv6 has, it has no more than four characters. Okay. So now I just need to make sure that all the characters in this part are valid characters. Every character in this part has to be a valid character. So for char c in par that to char array, if I see that if not c is greater than or equal to zero and c is less than or equal to nine and not C is greater than or equal to A and not and C less than or equal to F for hexadecimal, right? And also I need to check for capital hexadecimal. So and not C is greater than or equal to capital A and C is less than or equal to capital F then I can return neither. So that means that if I find that any character in my part, when I'm looking, when I'm checking for IPv6, if I find a part, any part where I have a character that is not valid, I can return neither. And it is not valid if it is not between zero and nine and it is not between A and F and it is not between capital A and capital F. If you find any character other than these characters, 
then you know that this is not a valid IPv6 address. So you can immediately terminate. You can you can immediately return neither. Okay. So now I only have to make sure that if all the parts were fine, I just need to um, make sure that I saw exactly eight parts. So return count equals equals eight and IP that char at IP that length minus one is not equal to a colon. Okay. If that's the case, right? If I saw exactly eight parts and the last character in the IP address is not a colon, you know that this is a valid IPv6 address. So you can return IPv6. Otherwise, this is not a valid IPv6 address, so you can return neither. So now um, I'm going to run the code to make sure that this is that this is working. Um, so I'm going to run the code. All right, it seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit a solution. Okay, this is working perfectly. As you can see, this is one millisecond faster than 98.59% of Java submissions for validate IP address. All right, if you like the video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.